Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to the Mac Center where the 2014 Mid-American Conference Wrestling Championships have been completed. The Missouri Tigers make it back to back since joining the Mac from the Big 12. I'm Ty Linder, Matt Miller, Connor Whalen from the radio side of things. Ian Miller takes the title for the Golden Flashes at 157 pounds after taking a red shirt last year, Matt. He came back this year with a flourish despite injury. Yeah, he battled back from the injury. He suffered four takedowns in his win, 9-4 to four over Luke Smith from Central Michigan. He made a statement going into the NCAAs in a couple weeks. We might have to start calling it the Ian Miller duck under Connor Whalen. Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, he just did what he wanted in that match, and you could tell he was a little bit angry, but he still got out there and got the job done. One of the things we talked about yesterday after day number one was what can the Golden Flashes do in the wrestlebacks? And guys like Mac McGuire and Michael De Palma answered that question. McGuire will return to the NCAA championships for a second time. Wasn't discouraged by his loss yesterday. Came back, wrestled tough. Third place finish today. Michael De Palma, tough loss against How to Shelt from Mizzou in the semifinals yesterday. Two big wins today, looked great. And he'll go to his first NCAA tournament, so congratulations to him. And we talked about it. You brought that point up. McGuire going back to the national tournament where he won a match last year, Connor. Nothing like experience on the big stage. No, you can tell that that experience helped him today, especially in a couple matches later on. He lost a tough one in the quarterfinals yesterday, but he came back and battled back in the constellations today. And one last thing to talk about now with the addition of these three schools that are so good in wrestling to the Mid-American Conference with the 41 bids on the line. Yeah, the three newcomers took spots one, two, and three. So now for teams like Kent State and Central Michigan and OU, it's time to raise, the bar has been raised. You gotta meet those expectations now. Right, gone are the days of top finishes and only having six teams. Now there's nine and you saw what it takes. Yep. Mizzou only with two champions, but very deep across the board and they were able to come back on Northern Iowa who had four champions of the 10 weight classes. So for Kent State, Central Michigan, uh, teams that have been in the MAC for a while, they're gonna have to turn it up a notch if they wanna compete with these higher level teams. Still a good thing for the MAC now. This is a legit power tournament now in college wrestling. Yeah, without a question, I mean, we saw today the fifth-ranked team, Northern Iowa, couldn't even win this tournament. I mean, it just shows this isn't, this isn't just a good conference. This is an elite conference. Well, it certainly has been. This was the biggest and best yet. It's only going to get better. Maybe some more teams will come in, but if not, these nine certainly figure to set the pace the rest of the way. For Connor and Matt, I'm Ty. The MAC champions have been crowned. It's off to the heartland for the NCAA D1 Wrestling Tournament in a couple of weeks. From the MAC Center, so long, everybody.